are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, black and white sports fans, we're going to be talking about scumbag quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, Deshaun Watson, who is stealing money from the Browns. But the Browns, you're pretty stupid, man. You actually gave this man a fully guaranteed contract, fully guaranteed. This man has been awful for the Browns. And against my Cowboys on this past Sunday, boy, he was awful. 3.8 yards per attempt. Well, guys, as you guys probably know, Mr. Massage, Deshaun Watson, is in some hot water again. Now, of course, you guys know he played with the Houston Texans and there was something like, what, 30 women that accused him of um, sexual assault. Civil cases, by the way. Um, he settled, I believe, all but like one or two of them, if, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe one of them is actually still going on right now, folks. But this new allegation with uh, Deshaun Watson, this one here, very disturbing. Now, this is not actually a massage as it seems like uh, Deshaun Watson was actually um, getting these women on Instagram to give him, quote unquote, massages that ended with happy endings. If you guys know what I mean. I'm pretty sure you guys have to catch my drift here. But in, in this new case right here, this was actually a woman that said she went on a date with Deshaun Watson and it turned. I'm not even going to go into the details, guys, because it's pretty, pretty uh, graphic and brutal. OK. But she alleged that he assaulted her. She actually kicked him out of his place. Now, I'm not saying that Deshaun Watson actually did this, but however, man, uh, Deshaun Watson is one of those guys that um, I cannot give the benefit of the doubt to. And this guy is actually getting investigated by the NFL. So the NFL is keeping a close eye on this. Now, folks, he got 11 games a um, few, few uh, seasons ago for his time with the Texans. But folks, if this is proven to be true, I'm not sure that Deshaun Watson will have a career because details in this man are just so graphic. I'm not even going to go over it. OK, not going to do it. But his lawyer, Rusty Harden, from right out here in Houston, has released a statement. So let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on locals, both for just $5 per month. Check the links in the description. So here we go. Check this out on Larry Brown Sports. Deshaun Watson issues response to sexual assault lawsuit. Deshaun Watson is facing New troubling allegations from a woman who filed a lawsuit against him this week. And the Brown star has once again proclaimed his innocence. Now, I'm not surprised that Deshaun Watson actually is saying he didn't do nothing wrong. I'm pretty sure you guys aren't surprised either. Watson's attorney, Rusty Harton, issued a statement on Wednesday addressing the latest lawsuit against the quarterback. Harton said that Watson, quote, strongly denies the allegations in the lawsuit and will not be offering any comment at this time. Yeah, because if he actually does speak up, it may not go very well for him. But this is what um, Rusty Harden actually um, put out right here. You guys can actually see the statement right here. Um, it says attorney Rusty Harden, who represents NFL quarterback Sean Watson, has released the following statement on his behalf. Deshaun strongly denies the allegations in the Jane Doe lawsuit filed Monday. We have asked him not to comment further while this matter works its way through the courts, but are comfortable he will ultimately be vindicated. We will be ready to defend this case in court at the appropriate time, but don't intend to conduct our defense in the media. 
we would ask that people be patient while the legal process runs its course. In the meantime, Deshaun is focus is going to focus um, his energy and concentration on football. So they have right there, man. And if I remember correctly, man, the last grand jury in Harris County, right out here in Houston, I believe they actually did want to um, go forward and actually press charges on him. But they didn't do it. They didn't do it. I mean, the details of um, the 30 plus women, however many, however many it actually was, was disturbing. The details in this one, man, I mean, it is very, very detailed and very, very graphic. OK. Uh, Browns head coach um, Kevin Stefanski told reporters on Wednesday that Watson will start Sunday's road game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Stefanski said the team plans to let due process play out and that nothing has changed with Watson's football status. Well, you guys need to be looking at another quarterback. A woman claims in a lawsuit filed Monday that Watson sexually assaulted her in October of 2020. The plaintiff in the new lawsuit is not one of the two dozen women who previously filed sexual misconduct lawsuits against Watson. The allegations also appear more serious. Yeah. As the other women did not explicitly accuse Watson of sexual assault. And Larry Brown Sports actually does have more details right there. But like I said, guys, it's pretty graphic. OK, an NFL spokesperson said the league is investigating the complaint. There has been no indication that Watson will be placed on the commissioner's exempt list, which is essentially a paid leave of absence. Watson was suspended for the first 11 games of the 2022 season over the previous allegations. He signed a fully guaranteed five year $230 million deal with the Browns months before that, after the team acquired him in a trade with the Houston Texans. Even if Watson avoids legal trouble, legal trouble over the latest allegations, it is still possible. Yeah, this is key that the NFL could suspend him again. And you know what, guys, if the NFL actually does suspend him for this, I believe, man, he's definitely gone for the full season. I mean, if you actually gave him 11 games before and now the details of this are really, really disturbing. And I'm pretty sure, you know, that the uh, NFL definitely wants to um, probably talk to this woman as well as Sean Watson. If they say, you know what, we think he did something. This man's gone. He's gone. I mean, could it actually be a career ender as well? Because he's not playing well on the field. Deshaun Watson is not performing on the field, folks. This could actually be a career ender, in my opinion, if he's actually suspended by the league. And I believe he's definitely gone for a year, if not longer. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know. Think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.